Hello, my name is Ian Hawkins. I am the news and investigations editor here at Swoop. Today, I'm absolutely stoked to be talking to Paco Underhill, the author of Why We Buy, The Science of Shopping. This is the Bible for understanding shoppers' behavior. And Paco himself is like the godfather of understanding customer behavior. I'm delighted to be talking to him at a time which is really make or break for the entire industry. So big question for you, Paco, is how have Christmases changed in the last couple of years? Because last year was a bit of a washout. This year is going to be different. So what's the what's the long scale trend? I think one of the things to recognize, Ian, is that many of us over the past 18, 18 months have gotten reacquainted with our families, mm -hmm. that we have had to live under the same roofs. We have um, we have had to understand each other better. And that therefore the expression of Christmas isn't about, you know, this is an icon of my affections for you. It's also, this is an icon of my understandings of both who you are and what your needs are and our relationship between each other. And I think part of the challenge for merchants is to recognize that gifting is often about using an object to say something that I'm not comfortable saying verbally. So how do you think this Christmas coming is gonna be different for, for retail? First of all, that the nesting instincts are, are, are extremely strong, meaning that the people spending money on, on housewares, on transforming their homes, on small uh, appliances. But I, I, I think also part of this is us recognizing that there are gifting solutions that the retail needs to be more articulate uh, about and to give us the tools to be able to understand them. I don't need necessarily a new tie. I don't necessarily need a new sweater. But if you wanted to give me a selection of gourmet cheese, that would be really wonderful. Okay. Um, or things that fit in is a subscription to a to a flower service. Okay. I mean, those are all things that fit into the evolution of our living. And that part of what the responsibility of merchants is not to go, I'm going to sell them a new tie, but understand, you know, what are the changing aspects to who we are and how does a gifting solution fit in to our emotional structures? So how can a shop or a store make this Christmas different? How can it make it better? I think one of the things that's very interesting about the 21st century, and this is whether, whether, whether you're a big store or a small store, is using your internet presence successfully. Meaning that there is no separation between the cyber and the physical world anymore. And even if you're a little corner store, having a place where somebody can pre-shop, okay? Mm -hmm and where you are explaining what you, the nature of your offerings are. So you aren't using your web presence to close the sale. You are using your web presence to make the sale possible. Right, I get that. Get it? Isn't that, doesn't that make sense? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's using the web to- To, to propagate. You know, to propagate, to make the first step and to build that community you were talking about before. Exactly. Paco, okay, thank you so much for your time. It's always a, it's always an education speaking to you and it's, uh, it's delightful speaking to you again. Bake a cake, I'll meet you at the lake. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. Take care, Paco. Bye-bye. If you'd like to hear more from Paco Underhill, watch this space. I have two more interviews which I'll be publishing shortly and you'll find them exactly where you found this one. We're also giving away some signed copies of his best-selling book, why We Buy, not my tatty old copy, but shiny, bright, new ones with all the updates that are actually going to be useful for you. To win a copy, all you need to do is sign up to the Swoop SME group on LinkedIn. It's a closed group, but if you apply, I'll let you in. My name's Ian Hawkins. Thank you for watching.